What's up guys? It's your boy Tov. Got something interesting for you today. A little uh, something I'm gonna start doing called Dreamcast here. We got a short one today. Um, basically yeah, it's where I just talk about my dreams because I tend to have very lucid vivid dreams. Anyways, okay. So in this dream, it started uh, <clears throat> on a trip I guess you could say some type of vacation. Uh, people I don't really know. And uh, then we ended up going to this place that had this giant mountain, I guess you could say. <clears throat> and this mountain was a giant red tower built out of wood. Like, uh, and there was a bunch of arches like in Asian culture around temples, they had, they built those red arches. Um, there was a bunch of those. <clears throat> and a very big one below the red tower that kind of went up in between this mountain, like it was built into the mountain, but like it was a grassy mountain. So not, don't imagine rocks, imagine like a giant grassy mountain, but it's like huge. <clears throat> Taller than some of the most tallest skyscrapers you've ever seen. Cause dreams can tend to do that create this exaggerated scenarios um, or scenery in my case at least so it's used basically what you do is you work your way up to the top and then you kind of like safely go back down to the bottom right <clears throat> what would happen is like for some reason we're in some type of vehicle and we're like going up and the it's like really hard to get up i don't know why like this is not easy to do but it's like a tourist thing for some reason. there's tons of people doing it um so we're part way up pretty high up we slip the vehicle turns around like we start uh sliding down the hill like, because it's, it's so steep, we can't really break, or else it would just go like, so we're just kind of, you know when you're sliding down that uh, mountain in GTA, that big one, you just, you kind of just gotta like, oh, 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 you're like skiing a vehicle. Anyways, and then the vehicle hits like a part that's kind of like this, and we go, and you know when you glitch in a game, and you like fly across the map, like way further than you could ever fly, like miles and miles. It was similar. The vehicle goes and I'm like, oh shit, we're dead. There's no way we jump this and when we land, we're dead. That's what I was thinking, right? Then we go, we're flying over all this empty valley below. There's another little mountain top across, like way across, miles across. And we somehow, vehicle at, with the right physics and the right balance, we land softly enough, coming back down. And on the tires good enough, that we kind of just and we were able to break and we're on top of this other thing <clears throat> get out of the vehicle I'm like that has to be the biggest jump in the history of like ever no one's ever jumped that much and survived so we got out of the vehicle there's another red arch and uh, then something happens in the dream I'm in a different place uh, <clears throat> end up in a bus at one point, and this bus is traveling, the bus flips, and we, f I fall onto this, like, uh, bail, I guess you could say, so I, I land safely, <clears throat> but there's a giant bear, like, I don't know, Elden Ring style bears, and it starts attacking us, I'm trying to, like, stay on top of this bail, because the bail is just big enough, but I'm pretty sure a bear could get on top of it, anyways, so I'm, like, rolling it, but then the bail rolls over top and it goes to a different dream. And the last part of the dream I want to share to finish off the first dreamcast here is, uh, so it's another like touristy thing. It's like in Dubai or something. There's like a series of this was, I'm going to try and create an image of this somehow. I want to visually recreate this. And this part I know I can do because I, I remembered it. And I'm, if you try to keep thinking about this thing, Sometimes it will slip away, but if you if you think about one specific object, you can remember that. And I, I remember this object. It, it's a structure, actually. So what it is, 
is a series of things that come out of the water like this, like giant metal uh, things, and they go like, and then they go up. So kind of like this shape. And then there's a couple stuff at the top. And a visual thing. So there's a bunch in a row. And then in between each, in between each, in between each one of these is a tower that goes like this. And at the top is a square platform. <clears throat> and what you do is you go in the water. You go up the tower. And there's like a spot to eat food, essentially. So you work your way up the tower. You open this little hatch. You climb out. It's like a carpeted sitting square with a ledge on the side. So say here's the ground, or the ground. Here's the here's the top of the here's the platform that you sit on at the top of the tower, and the like barrier around the outside to keep you out is only this top. So we're sitting there. I got someone here, someone here, someone here. We're sitting on this square that's like only however big. The small barrier on our butt on the ground and then they we we crawl through the hatch to get up here and i'm shitting my pants and uh she goes back down to get food or whatever so that we can eat because people come up here to sit and eat and be up on this time tower in the water it's a very touristy thing it seemed like but it was all in this dream so we're sitting there and uh i'm like shaking my pants i'm like if i lean back too far dead if i go to this dead it felt like oh my god so then <laughs> i was just like uh, uh and then i woke up that was it dreamcast one hope you enjoy be doing these more often where i talk about my dreams when i have vivid ones i don't do all the time but when i do it's an adventure there's some other stuff that happened, but I'll keep that to myself. Anyways, peace.